State Department lawyers found the White House Office of Management and Budget, and thus the President, had no legal standing to block spending of the Ukraine aid in a legal finding conveyed in a classified memorandum to Secretary of State Michael Pompeo. This post received a score of 42,223, with an upvote ratio of 86%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Just a reminder, Ukraine was promised military aid because they chose to relinquish nuclear weapons after the Soviet Union dissolved. It was what was promised to strengthen them against Russian aggression and eliminate another nuclear power with the potential to start WWIII. They gave up those weapons in good faith and it's owed to them, whatever someone thinks about what we spend and where. You, sir, understand more than the U.S. president. There's a squirrel in my yard that can't find the nut he buried five minutes ago yet understands more than the U.S. president. I understand that it's NNN but I think it's your duty to help him find it. Yeah help that squirrel get its nut. Ah, must hiding it in his wood or something. A president is not a king. The USA is not a business. And Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. This is the most agreeable position I think I've ever seen in regards to politics. Whoever runs on this will win 2020. You, Blitzwit 1432020. Pretty much anyone would be a better choice than Trump. You, Blitzwit 1432020. Hash anyone but Trump 2020. Screw but Trump. Cannot unsee. Oh, so that was illegal too, besides the extortion? Jesus Christ. Am um, Jesus Christ. Sacrilicious. Homer, that's not God. That's a waffle you threw on the ceiling last week. Good news, everyone. The device created to make you read things in voices was a success. I thought this is why we all knew right away it was illegal. Congress decides the budget and funding ahead of time. Trump tried to use money that wasn't even his to bribe public officials of another country, in exchange for services to be rendered. You, Kezo 357 points one hour ago a better analogy would be the manager of the grocery store refusing to let you have your groceries after you had paid until you posted on Facebook about how the chain that was being built across the road engaged in illegal activities. They are legally your groceries and the lies about the chain are absolutely horseshit, but he's adamant that you need to do it. A better analogy would be the manager of the grocery store refusing to let you have your groceries after you had paid until you posted on Facebook about how the chain that was being built across the road engaged in illegal activities. They are legally your groceries and the lies about the chain are absolutely horseshit, but he's adamant that you need to do it. It illustrates nearly exactly what happened, and makes it clear it's bullshit both that it happened and why our elected officials, that are supposed to represent us collectively, aren't frothing with rage now that it's clear it happened, regardless of whether he's their guy, he's not their guy anymore. Really, he probably never was, but people, both voters and lawmakers alike, could be forgiven for thinking that he may have brought real change or provided new direction for a party that badly needed it. He had big promises and wasn't part of the establishment, it very well could have turned out differently. It's clear, and both sides should be going after him with all they have to attempt to restore integrity to the office and the country, and even the Republican Party. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.